reading is taken from Revelation 21, reading from verse 1 to 7. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I learned a great voice out of heaven, saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them and be their God. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. And he said unto me, It is done. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. Seven and last. He that overcometh shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. This is the end of the God's holy word. When I can't understand why some things happen. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. I will be with you. The Lord will be with you. At times like this, when we don't know why things happen, we have to remember that with God at center, we can build. With God at center, we can rise. But as we do so, we must not forget what took us to this place. This situation with the violence is not just among you. It's in our communities. It's in our country. But as somebody who has been around a little while. She ran her own race. While some girls would shy away from Cadet, that was Michigan. She would do whatever she had to, even though she had her struggles. Knowing the start she had to her high school leg of her race, we were looking forward to her crossing the finishing line at graduation. Still, the most important lesson that one can learn from Michigan's life is what the psalmist shares in chapter 20. Life is short. We spend our years as a story that is told. Every moment we are blessed to be alive should be spent wisely. The choices we make from the time we are old enough to make them should be choices that make us better in the end. 